Now that you're getting to know your Chromebook, is your bookmarks bar starting to look like a cluttered mess? If so, this tutorial will help you to manage and even delete some of those old bookmarks. You can use your bookmark manager to organize your bookmarks and even folders. To open the manager, follow these steps. Click on the Chrome menu on the browser toolbar. This is three bars over on the right side of your browser toolbar. Select bookmarks and then select bookmark manager. This is what your bookmarks manager looks like, but I want to close out to show you another way to access the same tool. Bring your mouse over your bookmarks bar and then on your trackpad use the two finger click method. This is similar to right clicking on a two button mouse. A new familiar window will pop up in which you'll see bookmarks manager down toward the bottom. Click on it and this will bring you back to the bookmarks manager we looked at before. On the left side you'll notice a few categories that will help you to organize your bookmarks. Clicking on recent will place your newest bookmarks at the top. Now you may notice one of my bookmarks, the MIIM Slim Sang that really long one. But you can modify the name of your bookmarks to shorten them up and to take up less space in your bookmarks bar. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. Over on the right side, you'll notice a little arrow that if you click it, it will bring down a menu. In this menu, one of the options is to edit your bookmark. Clicking on edit allows you to modify the name of your bookmark, shortening it up and saving space in your bookmarks bar. One really useful thing to know is that if an icon has a very recognizable logo, such as the Amazon or Pinterest logo that are in my list, you can delete the names altogether and just use the icon as your bookmark. Now another faster way to get to the same menu is to use the two finger click method when you're hovering over that blue bar. This will allow you to make the same kind of changes in the name or the web address as you did before. For me, I like to keep my bookmarks as short as possible because I have a lot of sites that I want to access fast and the more that I can fit in that bookmarks bar, the better. On the other hand, if I have one that's too short or I try to use only the icon and wish that I would have the name, I can go back into the same edit menu and add a description or add a name. So now that I've shortened up some of these titles, you can see how many bookmarks I've got going across the top of my screen. At some point, you're gonna grow quite a list. Now it's time to learn to delete them. Did you catch that familiar move? I'm going to do an instant replay so you can see it again. Now this time, instead of editing, we delete it. Of course, what kind of technology integration specialist would I be if I didn't show you more than one way? Here I'm going to go to one of my bookmarks that's already on my toolbar, use the two finger method to click it, and either edit it or delete it. Now, of course, I would never actually delete my calendar, but for demonstration purposes, I'll do it for you. Now I'm going to show you another way to organize your bookmarks. You can create folders in which common bookmarks can be grouped. This is really handy when you want to save room on your bookmarks bar or keep common items together. You'll notice on my bar I follow three blogs that I have as bookmarks. One is my classroom blog, one is an emerging technology blog, and the other is just a copy of my classroom blog. To group these together, I'm going to hover over one of the blogs, two finger click and go to add folder. I'll call this blogs. I now have a folder that looks like a bookmark, but when I drag my other blogs into that folder, you notice how they condense into one. My bookmarks bar appears to be shrinking, but really everything is just organized under handy categories. This time I'll create a folder for my social media sites. In here, I can stash my links to Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, or any other social media sites that I haunt. Now let's say that I decide, you know what, I don't actually access these things from work. In fact, I don't need anything in that whole folder. I can hover over it, two finger click, and delete the entire folder. Now be careful with this one because not only are you deleting the folder, but you're deleting everything in the folder. So now my links to Facebook and to Pinterest, poof, so now that I'm looking at my folders, I have one for personal items in which the only thing in there is Weight Watchers and my blogs. Now I remember that I had an extra copy of my classroom blogs in there and I want to get rid of just that one. Two finger click, delete, gone. Hopefully by now you're getting a good sense of how to organize and keep track of your bookmarks and how handy they can be. So be sure you bookmark and don't delete the bpstis.org site.
For more information and ideas on how to use your Chromebook or to access our printable guides, visit us at bpstis.org. You'll find lots more resources, just like this one, produced by your Billings Public Schools Technology Integration Specialists.